Yep, here we go again. It's a way to get it up, up and away, because if the wind gets under the wing, it has a habit of tipping these and there's no ailerons to keep it steady. There we go. Into glide mode. Junior 60s are beautiful flying models. Really are. I'm not sure if that motor's freewheeling or if it's just ticking over. I'll have to check it. I think it's just freewheeling. There you go. And then open the throttle up. In glide mode. Once again. Sort of radio assist flying this, take it up, under power, and then enjoy the experience of floating about and gliding. I don't think there'll be much thermal thermaling in this weather. Bring it up along the strip. down a little, just pull it into a nice turn, downwind, oh bit of blue sky, rarity this summer in the UK, bit power in the turn, And up the road. Very, very much fun this. It's not a challenging model at all, but on a windy day like this, it's fun to sort of surf in the wind. Got the throttle. Bring it round to the left this time. Overhead. Oh, bits of blue sky, that looks very pretty. Lots of twitchy fingers in this wind with this sort of model, but it's quite benign.
the motor by the way is out of a, a tundra on a hobby king tundra i passed the model on to a friend because he stuffed his trainer and i took the motor and the esc out and put it into this model it's way more than it needs but as you can see you just cut the throttle and around she comes turbines in the distance there they are actually much further away than people think when they watch the videos having said that the same friend who um, got the tundra flies gliders and he had one of his gliders got caught up in the vortices of the turbines and it flipped it upside down lost the receiver and went into a flat gentle flat air uh, spiral upside down he retrieved it got about minimal damage he was very lucky so they are quite a way off it was a big glider so you could see it that far off i think more than anything else there's the sun If anybody's seen these videos before with this model, it was a model that I built for a friend who sadly passed away. Um, he was around to see it fly once, it did its maiden in the mist, if you want to look that video up. But it really means an awful lot to me, this model. Um, every time I see it, look at it, and especially when I fly it, I think of Dennis. Best mate I could have ever asked for. There you go. What a lovely, lovely flight. So I hope you enjoyed that. Vintage. I would call that radio assist. I'm not flying it like a trainer. Taking it up and gliding it down. Taking it up and gliding it down. You couldn't ask for more, could you?